Namaste. In this video, we are going to use backward chaining that is inference mechanism used in export system. In previous video, I have solved this problem or this rules and fact problem by using forward chaining. Yes. So these were these were the tables. Okay, like this. Yes. Okay. Now let us solve the same problem by using backward chaining. In backward chaining, there is given rules and conclusion or that is called goal. Okay. So in backward chaining, we have to generate the premises from the goals. Okay. So for the, first of all, let us store the given rules in knowledge base as in forward chaining. So this is the first pass. Yes. So this is the first pass. Okay. Now let us move to the second pass. So second pass. In second pass, the given conclusion is also stored in knowledge base. Okay. So this is the second pass. In third pass. Okay. In third pass. This conclusion is okay. Let us understand. This conclusion is checked in the then part. In forward chaining, we have to check if part is. Yes. So in backward chaining, we check only then part, or we match with the then part. So Ram likes economics. That means Ram likes it. Yes. So this is the matched part in the then part of the given rules. So this is the third pass. Now, moving to the fourth pass. So, this was the matched one. Yes. Okay. So, this is single underline. That means newly found conclusion is this. Okay. So, Ram likes it. That means Ram likes economics. And from this, we retrieve the premises. That means easy course. So, it is economics. So, Economics is easy course or easy. Okay, so this is the generated premises and it is fourth pass. Okay, so in fourth pass, we have generated a new premises, and again, we check this premises is your same match in the then part of the rules or not so so okay let us underline it economics economics is easy course so this was generated from here now economics is easy course then it is easy yes so this is the newly found sub goal or conclusion so this is underline okay this is fifth pass so let us move to the sixth pass okay sixth pass so in sixth pass so this is underline this is underline okay this is double underline so this is newly generated goal that means economics is easy course okay so we have generated from here and newly found sub goal or goal is this so from this we write the new premises that is okay let us on a line let us show the error okay it will be easy so management okay that means economics okay economics is management course So from this we have generated the premises and again we check whether this premises is matched with the conclusion part of the given rules or not since if there is no match so these are the required premises so new premises are premises are economics is easy course 
and economics is management course okay so these are the newly generated premises and again from this premises we check whether it generate goal or not by following same process as forward training okay and this is the process what we use in backward training for inference mechanism in expert system okay thank you and bye bye